the New York Times has this enormous website, right? We're the biggest newspaper website in the United States by far. So we have 22 million unique visitors every month who visit from around the world. And we actually have a new global edition for international readers that's more, that's the new website of the International Herald Tribune mm -hmm. is, is now this global edition of the New York Times web online. And so, you know, people are, readers are relying on us all throughout the day to constantly update the news. It's not enough to just put the content from the print edition online, but also to update it, you know, literally mm -hmm. minute by minute throughout the day. So, it adds to a lot of stress, but... This is the main... I think bloggers have an enormous power. Uh, the blog phenomenon in the, in the United States really took hold in 2004 with the presidential election, and in 2008 it just grew exponentially. Um, the blogs have really helped to sort of shift the terms of the political debate and have uh, made candidates and their campaigns much more responsive. You know, some might say that that's um, a bad thing because it has really compressed the news cycle so that every day there's sort of, there was an effort by the campaigns to sort of shift, you know, the, the terms of public debate according to what the online news outlets were saying. But it, it also had healthy uh, effects as well in terms of accountability and the democratic process.